Welcome to another episode of Thunder Insider. I'm your host, Chris Fisher. Royce Young leads us through the years of building a solid foundation for our 15th season as the Oklahoma City Thunder. It started from scratch in one of the smallest markets in the league. Chet and Mike visit the Children's Hospital to spread some Halloween fun. Hey, happy Halloween. Trick or treat. Ashley Earhart is the current Miss Oklahoma. She also happens to be a Thunder girl. I knew that I wanted to serve my state, and I knew that being Miss Oklahoma USA would allow me the platform to do so. Let's start the show with Kenrich Williams and his well-deserved contract extension. One of the best feelings ever. Amazing feeling for me. Not only me, just my family. All the hours you put in that nobody sees. All the blood, sweat, and tears and stuff like that. And then being able to be kind of blessed with the extension, I mean, it's, it's a dream, to be honest. Being able to be here and grow with this with this team, this organization, with, this, with the players that we have now, the organization values what I bring to the table. I'm able to grow not only as a player, but as a man, too. So that's what I value. The 15th season, the 15th team. 15 years of memories, 15 years of moments, 15 years of building and learning and growing together, city and team. It started from scratch in one of the smallest markets in the league with a team playing in summer league without a logo or even a gym to practice in. Standing in the shadow of the mountain ahead was daunting. One day after another, one foot in front of the other, a tradition was being assembled in real time, with intention, right before our eyes. And for the 15th time, the ball will go up on a season opener of professional basketball in Oklahoma City. Finding footing in the Western Conference is a challenge. And it was only two years ago with the 12th Thunder team. The season ended at the buzzer of a seven game playoff series. Eventually, every team has to make a descent, but not too many have the resolve and courage to do what it takes to climb again. Since then, the people have changed, but the framework and foundation remain the same. But it also came during an odd time in the world with abbreviated off seasons and in season protocols. The team fought through that time, and this past summer, it was back to some normalcy with 150 days to dig into the process of development and also the familiar feeling of a deep connection to the community. It's been said, this is one of the most representative Thunder teams. A group of committed competitors, of resilient fighters, each one an underdog in their own right, ready to seek the path forward. A path that is unknown and unforgiving for those courageous enough to pursue. That uncertainty is the price of admission. Every young team has to battle against the pitfalls that bite inexperience. And this Thunder team is certainly young. But this is how future teams are formed, where you cross thresholds and confront barriers, where you see moments that will eventually scale up. know what this season will look like, but you do know what this team, number 15, always is. An enduring reflection of the city and state it represents, and with a resiliency that honors the past Thunder teams that have come before. Stand in the shadow of the second mountain and relish the hike ahead. Because one day, if you reach the top again, you want to know you were part of every step it took to get there. Home opener, baby. Yeah. This is my first Thunder game. Here with my lovely daughter. This is our 13th year in a row. Thunder! Excited for the first game? Johns will give the energy. Yeah. 
love OKC and, and the fans. They're, they're great, and they, and they just show a lot of love to us. Let's keep this environment safe. Let's keep it lit. Here we go. Thunder up. Build that scrappiness. Just rip the ball away, and, and you don't stop there. We did a good job of getting ourselves back into striking distance. 48-minute game, and guys are competing for roles and minutes and those sorts of things. So we're evaluating every, every minute's live. We're evaluating every single minute we're out there. Practice, game. And I thought that last group closed well, played the right way, played hard. Just knowing that it's a long season and it can entail a lot of different ups and downs and not getting stuck on what happened in the past. So being able to put that away and just go to work the next day is important.